Welcome to Piping Engineering World. In this video we are going to learn about How to prepare yourself for a piping engineering interview. Before watching the video please subscribe us to get more updates about piping engineering. And also join us on Telegram to get updates on your mobile. Now let's start the video. Piping engineering is one of the most sought after courses in the oil and gas industry. Its popularity is the variety of opportunities it showcases, perks, benefits, competitive salary on expertise, enhancement of practical skills. During a job interview for this position, an interviewer may ask several questions to assess your knowledge and learn about your personality and background. Learning about the types of questions an interviewer may ask can help you prepare thoughtful responses to highlight your expertise. To prepare yourself for an interview, one must understand few things very clearly. Every interview is a gateway for a better life. So we must respect the value of an interviews. Every industry is so unique from another industry. So the competence required from industries to industries varies. And it also applies for companies across the country. Expectation of an employer for of a specific job role may vary with different employers. Like the criteria set by an employer for a piping engineer jobs may entirely vary from the criteria of another employer. Now here are the most important thing to understand before going to any interview. Gaining in-depth knowledge. A piping engineer's task involves many aspects such as installing or maintaining pipes, surveying prospective sites, etc. To ensure that you would work efficiently, you need to have in-depth knowledge of the subject supporting such work. So, start strengthening your foundation skills. But for entry-level engineers and designers some important points to prepare are like Concept of views top, front and left especially in case of pipes. Calculation of pipe spool length of different sizes pipe. Tank farm, wall height calculation. Types of heat exchangers mainly the fundamentals taught in HMT during graduation. Concepts of fluid mechanics and machinery. Some knowledge about different statutory codes is also important. Get enrolled for an enhanced online course. We may have all the subject related knowledge, but in the field, many such things would require a whole set of different applications to the already existing knowledge we have. So. If you are not 99% sure about piping engineering, enroll for an online course as the topics covered, and skill enhancement involved will be streamlined as per industry requirement and needs. Therefore, look out for the correct online course for piping engineering. Revise all piping system basics. Piping and pipe fittings. Piping codes and standards. Piping standards engineering practices. Engineering and workflow process in piping. Inputs required for drawing preparations. Familiar with design areas such as pipe rack, pump piping, drum piping, column piping, compressor piping, and heat exchanger piping. Familiar with basic of flexibility analysis and pipe supports. Familiar with piping materials used in your experience. Next. What challenges are you looking for in this position? A typical interview question to determine what you are looking for your in next job, and whether you would be a good fit for the position being hired for, is what challenges are you looking for in a position as piping engineer? The best way to answer questions about the challenges you are seeking is to discuss how you would like to be able to effectively utilize your skills and experience if you were hired for the job. You can also mention that you are motivated by challenges, have the ability to effectively meet challenges, and have the flexibility and skills necessary to handle a challenging job. You can continue by describing specific examples of challenges you have met and goals you have achieved in the past. Next. Prepare good CV. Know your CV very well and revise everything written in your CV. And make sure you have only mentioned what you know properly. Do not mention salary details on your CV. Rather, salary negotiations are something you do at a later stage in the interviewing process. By mentioning your salary requirements in your CV, the recruiter might look at it as a red flag that you are too focused on the money. Properly include the personal information like your name, 
phone number, email, and address are all the personal details a CV needs to have. Poor formatting is the one of the main reason for rejection of your CV. Generally a recruiter spends no more than 6-8 seconds reading a CV. If your CV doesn't catch their attention in these brief seconds, they're simply going to skip over it and move on to the next candidate. If your CV has spelling errors, typos, and bad grammar all over it, you might be seen as a lousy communicator, careless, or uninterested in the position. Next. What's your salary history? When you are interviewing for a new job, it is common practice for the company to ask you about your salary history. I typically want to know what the candidate's base salary is, if they receive any bonus, the average bonus amount, and any additional compensation or perks, such as 500k matching, stock grants or stock options, paid time off and how much they are required to pay towards their medical premiums. Next. Why are you leaving your current job? This is a toughie, but one you can be sure you'll be asked. Definitely keep things positive you have nothing to gain by being negative about your past employers. Instead, frame things in a way that shows that you're eager to take on new opportunities and that the role you're interviewing for is a better fit for you than your current or last position. For example, I'd really love to be part of product development from beginning to end, and I know I'd have that opportunity here. And if you were let go? Keep it simple, unfortunately, I was let go, is a totally okay answer. Next. What do you know about our company? You always want to make sure that you're pretty familiar with the company that you're interviewing with. Nothing looks worse than a candidate who knows nothing about the company they say they're interested in working for. Find out everything you can about the company, its culture and its goals. You will also want to know how the company is positioned in its market as well as who its major competitors are. Thanks for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe us. Join us on Telegram.